Hey guys, Andy Corbin here, West Kentucky Blue Collar Outdoors. Got my good buddy Bo uh, and Harper with us today. And Bo's gonna start a new segment for us today called What You Can Do. And so we wanna give you guys out there that have hunting buddies, these dogs, uh, we wanna be able to be getting ready for hunting season. And Bo, as an expert trainer, trains a lot of uh, hunting retriever champions and derby dogs. And so we're gonna rely on his expertise to tell us uh, in these spots a couple of days a week some things you can be doing at home just as an average Joe to make our dogs better for the hunting season. And so Bo, what are we going to be doing today? So today what we're going to work on is place. We're going to teach Harper, and this is new to her, is place. And what I always do when I start teaching place is reward base, some kind of treat. And it seems to me that they just pick up so much faster when they keep looking for the uh, reward. So basically what I'll do is I'll introduce the tree. And I'll tell her place. Make her sit. And I'll give her her reward. And try to hold her there for a few seconds. Oh, I, I know as a hunter, um, people may not understand what place is, but uh, you were, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, if you have to remote your dog, like they can't sit in the place where right. you are, you can remote your dog from in a field or in a stump or on a stand, somewhere like that. Uh, right. And it, it, right. it, it's a very valuable tool to be able to have in your toolbox for your dog. Oh, yeah. You know, even as a safety issue. Right. Um, right. When, you're, when you're loading exactly. a boat into the water or picking exactly. it up. Um, or, like I said, if we don't have room in a blind, um, yeah, that's really a good idea. Yeah. All right. See, she, I mean, she's catching on just instantly. She's figuring this out. Try to leave her a little bit. Let her sit in that position. And then I'll call her here. Good. You know, people have been watching Harper on film and she's been doing a lot of different things, a lot of swimming, saw her first time in the water. About how old is Harper at this stage? I think she's 16 weeks, I'm pretty right. sure. Still you know, really young. Yes, really young and you know we're trying to put as much uh, information into her as we possibly can, teach her everything that we can teach her. I mean, you know, she's already paying attention to this reward so she knows, hey, that's what I want. So, right. you know, that's, that's one of the important things with a puppy, but I mean, any dog at any age, can introduce treats and right. make your training so much easier. So one of the one of the most important things that I learned from you, Bo, is reinforcing things with the dog and being consistent. Oh, consistency is the most important thing. Consistency is probably the number one tool that you can use with your dog to benefit both you and your dog. Right. He's talking about training me because I need oh, yeah. training. Just training him is, is, is harder than training the dog by That's far. That's right. The dog listens a lot better. But, I mean, you know, one time you'll do it one way, the next time you do it a different way, I'm just reminding you, and if you're not consistent, then you're really sending an unclear message to the dog. And that's what we want to do when we're training, is to send a clear message to our hunting companion, hey, this is what we want you to do, and this is how we want you to do it. Well, and that's just a great teaching strategy, too. Um, I know whether you're out there and you just want a hunting buddy, or if you're out there and you're actually wanting to run trials or hunt tests, uh, either way, consistency is very important in your teaching uh, and the training of your animal. Okay, well, uh, we appreciate your expertise, Bo, and we'll see what you have for us on our next episode. God bless you. Thanks for watching.